Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are heading back to South Mountain Raceway in Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania. It is day one of their NHRA Summit Super Series points races. Um, I'm gonna go out and run straight ET. Um, I ran last year. Um, first time I was points racing in a couple years, ran my truck, did all right. Uh, as the year went on, I definitely uh, got more confident and uh, started winning a couple rounds, so it felt good. Um, Hopefully this year I got the Camaro over winter and uh, taking this out. I ran a gambler's race last week, made it to the finals. Uh, everybody red lighted against me, which, uh, hey, luck of the draw, but I'll take it. Uh, keep saying this, but I'm still running on street tires, which they hook okay. Uh, not spectacular, but for street tires, it's got 180 and 60 foot. So I just gotta, just gotta be consistent in my staging and uh, launch techniques. And uh, I think we'll do all right. We're just kind of going out to have fun. I'm not running for points this year. I think I'm gonna hit a race up you know, over here, race at Beaver, Cecil, just, just all over. Uh, you know, we have quite a few tracks within a couple hour drive of where I'm from, so it makes it kind of nice to drive some different facilities. Uh, but I'm going over today, obviously, I'm in the Camaro. Uh, my wife's behind me. She is uh, running her daily driver, just trying to see what it would run, have some fun with it. It's a 2010 uh, BMW X5M. Should be somewhere in the eights in the eighth mile. I've gone, I think, eight something i don't even remember low eights i've gone so i'm gonna say it'll go mid to high eights depends how aggressive she gets on the launch i mean it is all-wheel drive but i'm not i'm more of a just send it guy it's gonna run when it's gonna run and she's afraid of breaking things and not that i try to break things but it's an unfortunate it's an unfortunate side effect of the sport so uh, we'll see how hard she pushes it and uh but yeah i think we'll go mid eights it's definitely that was in like November, December, I ran that, but, uh, yeah, so it's kind of, it's not cool, it's, it's, or, sorry, it's not warm today, it's, it's 53 on the thermometer in the car, but, uh, it's kind of humid, we had rain last night, uh, clearing up patchy blue sky, but humidity's definitely up, so I haven't looked at the weather as far as, uh, you know, humidity or DA or anything like this, but I'm going to say, running low eights today but uh yeah so the nice thing about this track too for me is it's uh, a couple miles about seven miles from my house so i can be there real quick so we're heading over there now we're gonna get there get in the pits get settled in and i'll bring you some uh, on track action today i'm gonna try to record all my runs in car for you and then uh get my wife and some other cool stuff from uh from outside the car and the bleachers and uh, just kind of give you an overall view of you know what's there racing today um, if you have a street car and you've never been out before bring it out they have a test and tune every Sunday they just call you up to test as one of the classes or if you want to get involved in bracket racing there's a trophy class which is a great uh, entry level class for anybody that's never done it before and some guys just stay in trophy you know they don't want to run for the money they just want to come out and have fun bracket racing and that's cool too so uh Yep, we're on our way over, and I will uh, see you in a bit. All right, so we made it here to the mountain. We're set up. Uh, I'm running the blue Camaro in street, and my wife brought her uh, BMW X5 out to see what that thing could do. So she's running true. Thank you. 
I felt like a solid pass. I'm coming up the return road here to get my slip. We'll uh, see what it looked like. Uh, I'm gonna say eight flat at 90. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know what the heck just happened there. Um, other than it dead hooked, I did something right. Uh, 18660, which is my best 60 foot ever in the car, and the car just went 779 at 92 mile an hour, which uh, that's like a tenth and a half better than my uh, previous best ET on the car. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of in shock right now. Uh, I'm also in shock because I just put a 005 up on the board. So, uh, yeah, I, I, that was just the pass. If ever there was a pass, it was that one. So hopefully I can keep that going here and we can go a couple rounds today and the thing keeps hooking because... So just made my second pass. It went 790 at 93.4. It's my best mile an hour ever. I think it was a little soft off the line. I think that's why it uh, ET'd a little slower. I wasn't as aggressive, you know, put my foot down. And I think that's where the radials are gonna come into play. It's not that these don't hook. It's that I'm not doing the exact same thing every time. But uh, yeah, 790 at 93.4, best mile an hour. Put up another 005 light. First time I think ever I went back to back 005. So, I got the reaction down, it's just gonna be dialing it in and driving the stripe here. So going forward, let's see if we can turn on some wind lights. shot into round number two. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I get a good launch here, get a good number to put on, and uh, we'll go from there.
good pass. All right, so I got my time slip. I went red. I went 035 red. I was flirting with disaster all day. Um, I heard double O fives and time shots. I went 35 red. I don't know if I bumped it too deep or I think I left a little harder as far as uh, I kind of eased it and then just eased it to the floor. It wasn't ease stomp. It was kind of just a nice ease down motion. So the car did just set a new uh, personal best ET on that pass. It went 777 at 92.29.18360. I am super impressed. I've said this 8 billion times. You've been following along with the videos that I did this on a 245 run flat. Yeah, like I'm shocked that the car uh, works that well on a run flat. So uh, yeah, so I just went uh, under the dial 77 on a 79, went red. Not a good run if you're bracket racing, but thankfully we had to buy and uh, we'll uh, play around with the dial and uh, try not to goof up at the tree and see if we can keep uh, turning on some wind lights. Alright, so we're down here for round two of Sportsman. I'm the first car in line in the right lane. I'm going up against the early Fox body 762 to my 777. See if uh, I can put lucky sevens on the board and uh, go on to round number three. I have the camera mounted on my driver's window. I'm going to flip it around here. So uh, should be side by side the whole way down. I think he's going to get me out of the line or off the line rather. Obviously, I'm still running straight tires. So uh, see if I can come back around him up top. So we're in the lanes for round number three of Sportsman. I um, ran a 78 and a 77 last time. I was 30 light. So we're back in the lanes hoping to do it again and uh, see if we can keep going. starter wasn't motion me to back up so uh i just figured we're set i'll let him get in and then it hit me i don't know how deep i am i don't know how i staged this time i kind of have a routine down with staging put it in nice and shallow 
think I was shallow I had no idea probably was shallow because uh, I ended up just waiting a split second because I didn't want to bulb it away and uh, ended up going uh, 100 light ran an 83 on a 77 and um, he uh, I don't know he was like a tenth over but he was just just because because I was uh, so far behind at a 100 light he put a 001 on me so uh, it wasn't much of a race. I tried getting him at the stripe. He was way out of it. This car does a uh, mile an hour pretty well. I think it was 92 or 93 that pass. So uh, I almost Josh hate Wagner, let's 400 see that track took the stripe let's by. But, uh, yeah, so that's how my day ended. So despite me driving like an idiot in the end there, not like an idiot, just making a stupid and you know, pretty much given, it was a good day. I won two rounds. Uh, I back to back 005 lights and time shots. Uh, 030 first round, well, red on my buy run. And then I put an 030 up second round to take the win over that Fox body. And then we were napping when we were just guessing at the tree when I was, uh, when I was uh, dead late. But uh, yeah, going into today, my uh, personal best ET was a 793. Uh, I beat that three times a day. I went seven, 79, 7, I remember what I ran, 779, 778, 777, and 783, so, uh, car was working, uh, hats off to South Mountain today, they had the, their, uh, track crew, they had the, the line sticking pretty good, so, uh, yeah, all in all, I can't complain, uh, just, it hurts for the week, so now I'm gonna think about being an idiot, double bulbing, and, getting a crappy light and I'll think about that all week but uh Steph actually made it out today she ran her Beamer first time she ever ran that uh she had fun with it went around in trophy uh almost went to she uh had a dude by like two tenths of the tree and uh never bothered to look in the mirror and uh he wasn't there she took the line and was uh she broke out and it's under her time but uh you know what like I keep saying we had fun today so it was a good day it's been out with my wife we both got the race so that was cool um, I guess next week on Saturday, I'm going down to uh, Cecil County Dragway in Rising Sun, Maryland for their Saturday Night Streetcar Shootout. I'm going to be running the Camaro in Pro Street, which is basically a street tire class. Uh, no tub cars, no small tire cars, uh, just so they're stamped DOT. You know, you can run radials or uh, DOT stamp bias plies or whatever, but uh, no slicks, no tub cars. So I think that's the class that's going to fit me best in here. Uh, I bracket raced at Cecil once about 15 years ago with a neon, just by daily. That's what I raced back then, but usually I go down there chasing numbers in the spring and the fall. But they have some cool classes down there too. They have uh, Pro Mods and uh, Outlaw 10.5, so hopefully I can bring you a lot of cool uh, footage from the other classes as well as, you know, following along with my adventures bracket racing uh, the Camaro. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.